Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Core Lithium, ASX code CXO. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Core Lithium, Stephen Biggins. Hi, Stephen. Oh, hi, Matt. Uh, good to be with you. With the lithium market continuing to surge, the big players in the lithium space now have market caps in the multiple billions of dollars and a new wave of hopefuls are now knocking on the door of billion-dollar market caps. As demand for lithium-powered electric vehicles continues to grow, the race is now on to find the next source of the lucrative metal and Core Lithium's definitive feasibility study into its Finis Hard Rock Lithium project near Darwin in the Northern Territory looks to be exquisitely timed. Stephen, we'll get into those DFS numbers numbers in a minute. But firstly, how far from Darwin is your Finis project? How big is the resource and reserve and what sort of grades is it showing? Sure. The, the Finis project is only 25 kilometres in a straight line from, from Darwin City and Darwin Port, so ideally located you know, adjacent to infrastructure. In regards to resources and reserves, we've got, we've got some of the highest grade resources and reserves in Australia. Um, we've got 15 million tonnes at 1.3% resources and 7.4 um, million tonnes at uh, 1.3 in reserves and uh, plenty more to come because that resource growth and reserve growth is going to come from the, from the project pretty soon. What's the likelihood that we might turn it into a mine anytime soon? We're there. It, the, the project is absolutely construction ready with completion of the feasibility study along with you know, the government approvals which are already in place along with Northern Territory and Federal Government financial support for what we're trying to achieve. You know, the project is ready to build, uh, it's ready to finance and we will start construction on the project before the end of the year. Well let's get into the numbers from your definitive feasibility study with some rapid fire questions. Firstly, how much will this thing cost you to build? Yeah, it's only a startup capex of only $89 million Australian to produce close to 200,000 tonnes per annum of concentrate per annum. What's the estimated internal rate of return? It's great. It's uh, 53%. And what about the uh, initial mine life? Uh, initially, it's uh, eight years backed by reserves, but uh, that's extended to uh, 10 years with the ex- recently released scoping study. And what will it cost you to produce a tonne of you know, close to 6% spodumene? And what prices are you seeing? for a tonne of spodumene in the market right now? We're really happy with the um, the operating costs of the, the project as defined by the DFS. So C1 operating costs of $364 US a tonne. That's brought down to close to $350 a tonne um, if we include the lithium finance credit. And market pricing we're seeing at the moment is, is closer to $1,000 a tonne coming out of Australia. How much money will this thing make a year on average over those eight years? We'll have revenues over $200 million Australian, um, probably a, a bit yeah, a printing EBITDA of something between 70, million, 70 and $80 million Australian per annum. Stephen Biggins from Core Lithium. Thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.